So I know I folded a lot into this question, but with what psychological terms, such as the Jungian idea of the tension of the opposites or others, can help us to more deeply understand these divisions and fissures within the American body politic? And is there something purposeful at work in polarization? And second, as part of your answer, what healing symbols, myths, or images taken from the American narrative can help us to bridge these dramatic divides and steady us as a country as we go forward? Uh, Dr. Stein. Well, I'm thinking about this question. Uh, I took a, uh, a side trip to uh, Asia and uh, consulted the I Ching. There is a, a hexagram. Uh, Call number 23 called splitting apart. And that's what Nathan was talking about. When the opposites split apart, they're no longer compensating each other. They're no longer working together in reciprocity. That's the crisis that we uh, are, are afraid of and that we're fearing. And the, let me just read some sections from this very, very interesting uh, hexagram. I refer, I refer our listeners to it, the I Ching number 23. And um, it says, the mountain rests on the earth, the image of splitting apart. Those, uh, thus those above can ensure their position only by giving generally, generously to those below. That's the image. It goes then uh, from lines one through uh, five or six, uh, one through five, it gets worse and worse and worse. Things are splitting apart, falling apart disintegrating, and then it takes a turn at line six. Six in the fifth place, uh, or line five, six in the fifth place means a shoal of fishes. F uh, favor comes th through the court ladies. Everything acts to further. The feminine has appeared, and that will hold the opposites together. We hope Hillary is such a figure for us. And then nine in the sixth place means there is a large fruit still uneaten. The superior man receives a carriage. The house of the inferior man is split apart. So that's the ending of that hexagram. It goes through a very deep process of disintegration and emerges with this beautiful image of the fruit. Now for, from the American narrative, I select two moments that I find uplifting and promising. One is Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War, holding the container together, holding the country together and freeing the slaves. That I think speaks to the American spirit at its best. And then I also so uh, admired Obama for going to Hiroshima. And, and there was an image of him there in the news, uh, an image of Obama at Hiroshima in which he didn't apologize for what America had done during the war, but it was a moment of recognition and humility and reconciliation and responsibility to an old enemy. And I think that kind of gesture is in the spirit of America at its best. When America is mature, 